Okay, guys, we have demonstrate the slope of a line described in standard form is, in fact, negative A over B. And here's our standard form. AX positive BY equals C. And we're going to demonstrate that this is the slope of negative A over. So we're going to simply use the rules of algebra to allow us to manipulate the equation and move variable terms and constant terms around. So take a second and think. What was the slope intercept form? Let's remember that. It's y equals m times x plus b, right? Where m, right here, m is the coefficient to the x, right? And it's also the slope, right? Okay. We're looking for a similar format to this y equals mx plus b. So what we're going to do is go ahead and subtract ax here because this is a positive ax, right? So we're going to bring it to 0 by subtracting ax. Since we did something to this side of the equal sign in terms of adding or taking away data, we need to do the same thing to this side. So we end up with by equal to negative ax positive c. Now we can't jump to a conclusion and say, well, here's our coefficient to x, there's our slope, and that doesn't seem to drive with negative a over b. Because we still have a b attached to this y, right? some variable attached to that y. So it's it's whatever this b is, it's y that many times. So we need to get this coefficient separated from the b, and we're going to do that by dividing away and cross-canceling. And we can do that because b over y, or by is the same as b equals b times y, right? And when we divide by b, that's the same as saying b times 1, right? b over b is 1. 1 times y, is, so this these cancel out because this just becomes a multiplicative identity of 1. 1 times y is y, y over 1 is y, so we just end up with y. So we cross-canceled here. We end up with y equals negative ax plus c, right? We have to divide away b on this side too, right? Because we divided b over here, so now we have to divide b over here. So this can be rewritten in a way that makes a little more sense and looks a little easier to interpret, and we'll rewrite it as y equals negative a over b times x plus c, right? So what's the coefficient to x here? Negative a over b. And we just demonstrated it mathematically. We provided a proof that the slope of a line described in standard form, which was right here, is in fact negative a over b.